Earth is made up of concentric layers, which are divided in two ways, by chemical and physical properties. The layers based on chemical composition are the layers that you're actually probably already familiar with, the crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust is the outermost layer and the thinnest layer. It is composed of either continental or oceanic material. Continental crust has the average composition similar to a granite and it averages a thickness of 20 to 25 miles. Oceanic crust has an average composition that's similar to basalt, which is a common volcanic rock, think Hawaii. Oceanic crust is thinner than continental crust and it averages about four miles in thickness, but oceanic crust is more dense than continental crust. And so that is the reason why oceanic crust sits at the bottom of ocean basins and continental crust sits higher, sits above sea level. The mantle is primarily composed of the green mineral called olivine, and it extends from the base of the crust down to 1,800 miles. That is a thickness roughly equal to the distance between Denver, Colorado and New York City. The mantle is the thickest layer and it makes up most of Earth's volume. Lastly, the core is the innermost layer. It includes the outer core, which is liquid, and the inner core, which is solid. The outer core is about 1,400 miles thick, and the inner core has a radius of about 760 miles. Uh, they are not chemically distinct from each other as both are uh, composed mainly of iron and nickel. The mechanical layers of the earth are differentiated by their strength or rigidity. These layers are not the same as the compositional layers of the earth, such as the crust, mantle, and core, though some of the boundaries do align. The uppermost part of the mantle is relatively strong and solidly attached to the overlying crust. The crust and the uppermost part of the mantle together form the lithosphere. That uppermost part of the mantle that is part of the lithosphere is called the lithospheric mantle. The lithosphere is rigid and behaves brittly, meaning that when stress is applied uh, to the lithosphere, it will fracture or it will crack. Tectonic plates are thought to live here. Uh, the idea is that tectonic plates are these giant slabs of broken up lithosphere that move relative to each other. And the earth is made up of seven main plates and several smaller ones. Every plate is made up of both continental crust and oceanic crust with a few exceptions uh, that are composed entirely of oceanic crust. These plates or lithosphere can move around because it sits on top of a softer, weaker zone called the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is about 62 miles thick and hotter and weaker than the lithospheric mantle above it. The asthenosphere responds plastically to stress, meaning it will flow under pressure over long periods of time. It also behaves like a fluid in that it can carry convection currents, but it's important to remember that it is not liquid. The rest of the mantle beneath the athenosphere is called the mesosphere and it is much more rigid than the upper mantle, but not brittle like the crust. Think stiff plastic. The outer core is made up of liquid iron and nickel and it sits beneath the mesosphere. This is the only layer of the earth that is a true liquid and flow of this liquid in the outer core is responsible for earth's magnetic field. 
the core mantle boundary is really the only boundary of Earth's layers that is both mechanical and compositional.